This video will cover advanced Linmat Talk features. We will log into the drives through Ethernet. We will need to configure our IP address settings. Open the Network and Sharing Center, then click the local area connection. Open Properties and select IPv4 settings. Select Use the following IP address and change it to something that isn't being used by the drive. Then select OK and close the IP address settings. Now we can open Linmat Talk. To log in through Ethernet, go to File, Login, and select Ethernet. Then click Scan and make sure that the IP address selected is the one we just set up. There are two drives on my network, and I will log into both of them. Both of the drives I logged into show up in the project tree. As we went over before, we will save a configuration file with all variables. Now you can give the file a name and a place to store it. I will do the same thing for the other drive I'm logged into. To see the errors that the drive logs, go to the project tree and click Errors. The drive has a continuous clock and the most recent errors on top. To get more information about an error, press F1. A new dialog box opens with a larger description of the error. The drive also logs messages in a similar way to the errors. The drive parameters can be defaulted without installing firmware by clicking the top level parameters and then the default button. The parameters being reset can be selected here. I'm going to go ahead and reset them all. To load a configuration file onto the drive, go to File, Import, and select the file. Another useful feature in Linmat Talk is searching. Say you need to find the UPID for demand current. We can search for current and go through the parameters and variables. Once you find what you're searching for, click OK. The demand current and its UPID can be seen here. The variables can be read once or cyclically by pressing these two buttons. Thank you for watching Linma Tutorials.